Um. Okay. I wanted to talk about. Honestly, I don't know what I want to talk about. I just kind of felt inspired to talk, and we'll see what comes out. Honestly, I don't know. But um. Recently, like. Um. I mean, not recently. I feel like I I have like pressure on me to like be something that um to be something (laughs) just period and I have always felt that like in the last since I moved here um just because of like the entertainment world kind of like um pushing me to do something with it like make content do this do that do this make a podcast continue your podcast and uh, post on tiktok post on instagram just be something like to people like to do something um I feel like I have these like shoes to fill that like are far bigger than my own um capabilities at this point in my life um I don't know why I feel like that but I do I feel like people expect much more of me than I'm willing to expect myself um I feel like everyone wants me to succeed more than I want my own self to succeed. And I don't want to be that girl. That sounds terrible. Um, I don't want to be the girl that could have figured it out and didn't. And I feel like I'm approaching that kind of trajectory if I don't figure it out. So I'm not approaching it because like I won't actually allow myself to be that. Like I just won't. I simply won't. And out, out of respect and out of love for my older self like I I have to kind of figure this out and that's part of the reason why I do podcasts like why I have a podcast and even like the second season like I I took like a year off because like I still there's part of me that still was just like doesn't have that like competitive thing in me that like wants to like win and maybe I should I probably should I don't know why I don't have it like I don't know and I feel like people think I should feel this way and like want more and want the most for my life and like I just don't Like, do I not like myself enough? Do I not? Why don't I see what my, I don't know. I don't know. The only thing that's kind of like making me do all of this is like in hopes I'm like helping someone else like myself. Because, you know, like, uh, not everyone's, like, born, um, with, like, a natural competitive drive or, like, um, kind of thing inside them that like wants to be better than I don't know whatever um and I'm happy that I'm in this situation I really am I'm happy that I've I've gotten pushed and I'm happy that that um I have to live up to this thing that or even a little bit to a little bit, you know, like having like I'm a girl with a podcast that's fucking great for like I would have never expected that um, and if anyone listens to and if anyone likes what I have to say, that's so awesome. That's like what a, what a life I was given. That's so cool. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing it. And I have changed over the years and I've tried really hard to change. And I want to share everything I've done to change and like hopefully it like helps somebody because that'd be really cool. Um, that'd be really cool. So I don't know. Um, I don't know why I wanted to talk about this. I think I was just like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm like, I don't know. What a like stupid thing to like, whatever. Whatever. (laughs) Um. Sometimes it can be hard doing things by yourself. Um, 
I've gotten better at it. I've gotten good at doing things about myself. But then sometimes, like, you still have those days where you're like, this would be so much nicer if I had, like, one person. And, like, you can't count on your friends, you know? Like, you can. Like, my friends are so great. I'm so lucky to have them. You can't burden them with that. You just can't. So you won't. So you deal with it by yourself because, like, grow up kind of thing. That's okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm in this, like, kind of, like, mo era or, like, period in my life where I'm just, like, figure it out, Charlotte. Like, I don't know why I can't seem to figure it out. I figured, like, this is the closest I've ever been to being the person I want to be, and I'm still not there yet, and it's so annoying. <laughs> like, that's, it's just so fucking annoying. And then you realize it's, like, a deeper problem, That, like, the reason you can't do this is because of, like, these, like, things that you've, like, neglected to address and, like, like, pain that you've never gotten over and, like, you've never fully accepted. Maybe you're frozen in your pain. That's my problem, apparently. Um, Which is annoying. But whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm also in my living room today for people watching. Or I'm on my desk. Or I do... Like, not my makeup vanity. I don't know why this is relevant. But, um, I don't know. (sighs) I'm going to try to get to a point where I, like, just feel secure enough in myself that I can post stuff like this. And not worry if I, like, come off insane or, like, not perfect or I don't know. I don't know what I'm scared of, to be honest. Maybe I'm scared of somewhat succeeding, too. (sighs) I don't know what the truth is, but, um, yeah. I don't know if it's just me, but, like, sometimes I feel bad that I have power sometimes. So I don't like to use it. Um, But what is that? Like, what kind of a life is that? A powerless, harmful, harmless life. Um, I've educated myself enough to know that's not what I want anymore. It took me a while to even get here, to want to be different to want more for myself, to want power and to want to be competitive and to want to want success and not think that not succeeding is the noble thing to do, which is what I felt for a really long time. I felt, I remember I had to talk with my sister. Um, We were talking about success or whatever. And part of me like could understand the concept that if I tried really hard And obviously everyone, like if you try really hard at something and like you don't give up, um, you will succeed. And I remember saying to her, this was like two years ago, that like there needs to be someone in the room that like makes people feel better. And like, I don't know why this is like a fucking makes me emotional in any way. It's it's interesting, actually, um, to me. But... It makes me, I think, emotional because, like, to see kind of, like, sh- like, sh- like, shedded versions of myself, like, versions I'm no longer anymore, I feel bad for them. And maybe I'll feel bad for this one. Probably. Um, but I don't know. I want to want to succeed. I don't know why it's been so hard for me. I told myself I would never, like, cry on one of these, so I'm not going to. It's just not, I'm just, uh, at least for now, I'm not doing it. I refuse. So I'm not. But, I don't know. And 
even like talking online and like kind of starting this like I was scared and still am scared to like be completely open and honest with kind of my pathetic thoughts you know um because it's not ideal I'm not like a full like I'm not like a full role model because I'm not perfect and I'm not like this ideal thing yet you know I'm just like at this stage so yeah and I was worried like are people gonna think I'm like pathetic and like sad even I don't want people to think I'm sad like a sad excuse like a I don't know (laughs) it's the food eraser I don't know I realize like all I can really do is like be myself and I need to just learn to like like myself a little more I think would help which I'm trying just like who no one's like who's telling other people the people that like themselves like who where the fuck the ones that really do like the ones that genuinely like themselves and they exist how the fuck how the fuck did they figure that out like i'm curious where's your handbook i would i'll read it i'll do whatever you tell me to do because i'm determined i would love to love myself and mean it like not project some version of what I want people to see and that's not truthful I want to mean it I want to really like myself I think a problem that I have is I show my cards like I show like I have a hard time like hiding my cards um and that's been a problem for me like I can hide I can hide my I can in some ways some ways I totally can um but there's a part of me that just craves um saying exactly how I feel I don't know I would just like to be more confident I think would be cool are you really sick I know that there is some version of me at 40 years old that is literally so different she's probably really cool and like really secure with herself I can see that because I won't give up um I won't this is just where I'm at now and it's just like I want to figure it out now I do I don't know how to figure it out now how the fuck do I figure it out now I don't know I don't even know if this, like, I don't know. Even, like, having this podcast, like, I took a year off. Um, and the only reason I even did it is because my sister kind of convinced me to do it. And other people and, like, this and that and whatever. And also part of myself is, like, totally aware that if I did do it and, like, set my mind to it, like, most things, like, if you, like, really work at something, it will pay off. But then I stop. Like, a part of me still, like, doesn't want to succeed, and it's so bizarre. It's like this self-loathing part of myself that thinks I don't deserve it or something. I don't fucking know what it is. But I just, I don't know. Like, do I want to also be the girl that, like, posts how she feels all the time? Do I want to share that much with the world? What if this gets popular? Then this is my thing? Then I'm, like, the like the openly vulnerable person? Like, that's kind of, like, weird, no? I don't know. I'm, like, judging it already, and it's, like, technically what I'm doing. I'm just, like, overwhelmed, I think, easily by this kind of stuff. Especially by, I don't know. I just feel like I, 
I can't let myself down, my older self, that is, I feel like speaking to me all the time, being like, you can do it. You can get over this. Look at all the people in your life that are so assured of themselves and so confident and want to win and want to succeed and are competitive. They will be the best. Why don't you have that? Figure it out. I'm figuring it out. It's just harder for some people. But I have an obligation to myself. I think one thing I'm good at is um, kind of tuning everything out. <laughs> kind of living in my own world a little bit, honestly. So maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should just tune everything out and do this. And I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my life. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't think I was going to model I don't know. I do feel like a responsibility for this. I did with my Tumblr too. Or maybe I need it more than I even address to myself. Maybe this is for me at the end of the day. This is like my therapy. I talk to myself on photo booth too. Instead of diarying and journaling, I just hit record and just say a bunch of shit that's going on in my head. So maybe it is for me. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Sorry if none of this makes sense either. I didn't know what I was going to talk about, but I knew I wanted to say something. I don't know. I'm also scared for, what if I'm just doing this for people's approval? And I'll eventually lose it, eventually. Like, it's only a matter of time before people get hated on for one mistake and they, that defines their whole character. Will I be able to handle that if that happens to me? I don't know. I don't think I have the right personality to do this. But that's no excuse because I, I won't take that as an excuse. I have to get this done. I have to do this. I have to rise to some sort of occasion to do something with my life, apparently. Sorry if that sounds weird. It just feels like that's what's happening. I don't know. I'm trying to live up to everyone's expectations of me. I feel like people expect a lot from me. And I can't let them down. I have big shoes to fill. (laughs) That's really what it feels like. And I gotta fill them. I don't know. (sighs) Maybe this is the end of my podcast. 